Hey YouTube, it is Monday, August the 6th. I was at the pool all weekend. I am tanned bigly. Yeah, weekend was good. It was good. Just pool and pool and pool and pool and pool. Oh, well. So we're at the pool, and my pool is not that big. It's a complex pool, everyone comes, you know, it's not that the pool is not that big. Everyone's having a nice time. These two idiots get in the pool with their two, I can't call children names, but I, I can call them bratty kids, but you know what, it's the fault of the parent, really. But anyway, and they start throwing the ball back and forth, and they're flopping around the pool, just not paying any attention to anyone, throwing it across the pool that way, diagonally, horizontally, any which way they can throw the ball. And twice, it almost hit my kid. And so I had to yell and say, why, why are you throwing? First of all, you don't own the pool. It's not your personal pool. Stop throwing the damn ball, you know? And, woo. And they do this often. And, you know, these are the same people that do this. Um, and I'm, and I go back again. I'm telling you, if that ball hits my kid. I'm <laughs> Because it's like, what are you doing? What, why, why does it always take some fucking idiot to ruin the day? Why can't human beings just do the right thing? How can you be so obnoxious and just think that you can throw the ball across the pool in every which direction? And that is, there's not to say that there wasn't spots where they could go and do it and be on their own and play. No, they needed to come everywhere in everyone's space and throw the damn ball. I, at one point, I had to hit it away because it almost hit my son, you know? And I had it, I was, you know? And then the horrible little child comes up to me and is like, give me the ball. And I'm like, here, you brat. You know, I'm, it, 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get into fisticuffs with, with people when it comes to my kid, I gotta tell you, Because one, I don't do bratty kids, you know what? I know it's a little harsh, but some of these kids need to have the fear of God put in them because these people who breed them don't. And I'm tired of my kids, you know, they're jumping in and out of the pool. All the other kids are doing it. My kids are saying, excuse me. My kids are waiting to make sure that there's no one in their jump path. These other ones are just blowing through, blowing past, jumping on top of other kids. And the parents are just sitting there on the phone, not paying any attention. I swear. Anyway, that was that yesterday. Saturday was fine because there was hardly anyone in the pool. And we had a nice time there. But yesterday, those people, I swear, and they're old. One old man. It's like the father of the guy and the, the son. So father who should know better, son who should know better, grandson who's just a little idiot because obviously the father and the grandfather are idiots. And, you know, maybe it's as harsh. Maybe. Maybe it is to some people, to, you know. But you know what? It's the truth. And I'm sick of people. I'm sick of raising, I'm trying to raise two children with manners in a mannerless world. Sick of it. For those of you who likes my rant, I hope I haven't scared you off with that one, but I cannot stand bratty children. And I told my own daughter the other day, I'm like, I am not raising a brat. When mommy says no, mommy means no, okay? You can't get everything you want when you want it. The world doesn't work that way. I would like to be a millionaire, but you don't see me whining about it. I mean, she's standing there looking at me like, <laughs> but it's like, stop whining. Let's get to the outfit. This week, I think I'm gonna do some pattern play. Well, at least this week I actually wanted to wear all florals, but I don't have floral pants, like what I really want. So, um, because I wanna play around with the Coach Parker and just show you guys a little bit of how this bag is, I consider it a neutral. I may look like a crazy woman but to some, but I kinda like the way it looks. So today I'm wearing a top from BCBG, some pants by, um, hard print pants by Marc Jacobs or mark by mark i don't think it's mine i think they're marked by mark my coach bag um navy blue sand, um mules from zara and my um ray-ban club masters and um i want to try to do like style videos i'm not i'm not a good teacher at all i suck at like showing talking and how and explaining but um maybe i'll try but this week yeah basically this, this hodgepodge of an outfit as long as the colors in the top match the colors in the bottom it doesn't matter if the prints are off if that makes any sense does that make sense i think that makes sense so it just works it works so try it guys try it it'll be fun 
And you know what? It's fashion. Who cares? If I could see, you know, women nowadays walk around with no top on. I mean, nothing. Boobs all swinging with the breeze. You can put a little patterns together. I don't get me wrong. You know, I love the female body. I just don't need to, you know, oh, would you white with men can do it? Yeah, men can do it because they don't have teats swinging back and forth. And again, once again, <laughs> you know, I'm not a prude. I'm not, you know, but no, you don't live in the Amazon. You're not a tribe in Africa. Put on a bra, okay? At least wear the bra if you want to make a statement. Anyway, I'm still in a mood. Yeah, Pandora, jewelry. Um, and that's all that is fit to print, really. Yeah. Yeah, nothing else really going on. Nothing going on. So yeah, I'm going to wear her this week. And possibly not next week, because I want to do an update on her. Uh, do I regret her? Um, I bought it. <laughs> and is it still worth it? I don't know why Coach... I mean, now they have all different colorways. I don't think they sell this one anymore. I don't know why, since it was making them Google amounts of money. But hey, I'm not the direct creative director. Or oh, who's ever in charge of that. But yeah, guys, still slightly in a funk. I'm in a funk slash counting my blessings. Yeah, see? Okay, I, I, I do. I'm blessed, you know? But I'm, you know, it's like I love my job, but no, no. I'm thankful for my job. I don't have to like it kind of thing. Anyway, I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is Tuesday, August the 7th. We're about to run out of here. Looks like it's about to rain. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, just quickly to the outfit. Wearing this floral dress from H&M. It is like 100 degrees out. And I needed something loose. So no belt. <laughs> it is so hot out and humid. But I love it. Uh, my Adupchi mules, the ones with the lips and the heart. Coach bag, and I'm especially loving how the coach bag looks paired with the bright florals. I love the hodgepodge look. Um, yeah, and um, just regular, and just regular jewelry with the Ray-Ban sunglasses. Uh, yeah, so which I don't need because it's raining. Uh, it looks like it's gonna rain. So let me run. Battery's going to die. I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is Wednesday. Oh, what is the way today? Is it the 8th? The 7th? You, you'll, you'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm about to get out of here. And actually, today's my last day for the week. I'm going to take off tomorrow and just work from home on Friday. It's kind of slow. Everyone's, you know, it's summer. It's August. we got to get in these summer days while we can. So, continued with the floral and the coach bag. And I must say, I'm loving the look. You guys may think I look like a bag lady of some sort. But I like the hodgepodge look. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you think with this bag. Does it work mixing it with florals? Or am I, like losing my mind <clears throat> I think it works out I like mixing prints and patterns and because this bag is basically got neutral colors I mean and, and the patches and you know it just gives it some interest I don't know let me know below if you thought my pairing this bag out of the norm this week worked or do you prefer matching it with black and brown and like cream since we have the cream in there let me know what you think. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get to the outfit. Today I am wearing uh, this dress, floral dress, again from H&M. So glad I picked it up. Love the floral print. I at first did not like the way the sleeves hung, but today I'm loving it. Um, it's about 100 degrees, it's very breezy, and I'm wearing it with my Gucci belt. Dupchi mules, again, these things are tray comfortable. Um, and they are real leather, so hey. Um, yeah, and the coach bag. Ray-Ban sunnies, uh, earrings are these little heart earrings, little puff heart earrings from Overstock, Star Necklace, Pandora, um, bracelet, and just my regular stuff. Um, yeah, so that is about it today. I am going to see what I can get myself into over the weekend. I know my daughter is hankering to go see her ponies, but it's hot, man. Ain't nobody gets to around in like 
100 degree heat with poo. I mean, horse poo. It's not even like dog, it's horse poo. And I, it's, anyway, we'll see what we do. Son wants to go on water slides. It's funny because they share my YouTube account. So and during the day I get to see <laughs> stuff that they watch. And I can tell who's watching what, you know, just by the content. The son is watching all sorts of water slides and parks. And, and now he looks like he just got into a roller coaster ride. <laughs> so it's like a bunch of videos come up on my feed from that. And the daughter watches anything cartoon horror related. That and Planet, um, what's that um, Halloween store? That but Spirit Halloween, those pop-up Halloween stores. She watches all of that kind of stuff. My Little Pony draw, I mean, people draw them like in <laughs> horror movies. <laughs> she's, and she's into Chucky for some strange reason. I don't know where she gets her um, uh, love of horror from, but yeah. Uh, I think I told you guys, at night she turns her doll's heads to not face her. Because <laughs> she says otherwise it's creepy. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will be talking to you in my next video. Take care. Hey YouTube, it is uh, Tuesday, August the 14th. I'm about to go to the bus. I uh, did, however, get a little package from Ooh La La. It's the only thing I'm allowing myself to buy these days. Uh, it's Pandora. Let's see what charm this is. I think I already know. They were having their little sale and I actually wanted a gold charm from them and um I didn't want to pay the ten dollars like I'm weird like that so I bought a cheaper charm a week before <laughs> so I wouldn't pay it's it, I, I'm silly but yay I got the car charm it's super cute it's cute will it focus adorable and it has the little red lights. <laughs> it's really cute. Super, super cute. So, these are what I'm allowing myself to buy. This was like 18 bucks. So, yay. All right, let us get started on our way. Uh, I didn't really do anything yesterday. It's been like rainy and gross um, for the past couple of days now. Sunday actually cleared out. So Sunday, we took the kids to the beach. But otherwise, it's been kind of rainy, kind of gross, uh, non-inspiring. So yesterday, I wore uh, my navy blue pants again from Zara. I actually love those pants. And what else did I wear? Navy blue. I need to get a stand for this. Don't try this at home, kids. Navy blue pants from Zara. And oh, um, the top I got from Miss Lady B. Uh, gifted me. I like that top. I got actually a lot of compliments on that top. But it's very pretty. Um, so yeah, and just my navy blue mules from Zara. Uh, and my coach bag. So nothing really, um, <clears throat> nothing really went on yesterday. It was kind of a quiet day too. The boss wasn't in. Just very quiet. And today I expect, well, she'll be in today. So we'll see how quiet it is. But today I am wearing my dress from H&M, uh, the Airdem collection, and uh, along with my coach sneakers, I felt like actually yesterday walking um, to the bus stop after work, I was like, oh, I think tomorrow will be a sneaker day. And it's kind of gray, you know, it's just raining here and there. So I was like, yeah, let me pull out a sneaker. So H&M dress. Coach Rexy sneakers and still my coach bag. Um, yeah, jewelry is the same jewelry I've been wearing. Uh, I've got my heart dangle star necklace. The, my Chanel necklace is in there somewhere. I'm going to give up on the curb showing you this. Um, coach watch, just Pandora. Can you see my Pandora bracelet? <laughs> Can you see the junk in my car? Uh, yeah, just Pandora bracelet bracelet from Macy's. 
Same old, same old. I'm so depressed that the summer is going bye-bye. <laughs> but, say la vie. Say la vie. So that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Hey, YouTube. It is Wednesday, August the 15th. Ah, it is soon time for me to get out of here. Um, nothing really going on. Nothing really going on. Uh, came back from lunch. I've been trying to get this pink bracelet together. Um, and to show you guys. So, oh, last weekend Pandora had a sale. You know, you buy $100 and you get a free bracelet. So I was trying to get myself together to finish this bracelet. But that's another video. I will show it to you. I might do it next week. Um, as soon as I get my nails done, because I can't be doing Pandora videos with gross nails, and I still cannot find a nail salon that does the SNS properly and for the price I want. So, anyway, that's that. Um, yeah, so I came back from lunch, and you know, in my building, you have, and I work in this in New York City, so you have, um, in most of the buildings here, they're like security gates that you have to have your access card to get through. All of them were open, elevators were all on the, all the elevators were open and people were milling about. So I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, there's a fire. Um, there's like an alarm. So I was like, okay. Two seconds later, three seconds later, four seconds later, a minute later, whatever. I'm like, I do smell a little something. What, what could this be? Can I go home? You know? <laughs> You know, and then people are just, are trying to get upstairs. They're, you know, we have two, we have like four elevator banks. So you can go through different elevator banks to get through different floors and then go upstairs and then get, cross over to go to the elevator bank. It, it's crazy. Or walk up the stairs. And I'm just like, I just don't love my job that much. <laughs> I'm just, why are these people rushing to get upstairs? I just, and you know, the security guard was like, oh, we could take you in this elevator. And I'm like, No. Why aren't these elevators recalled? I am increasingly smelling more smoke. Why is no one saying what's going on? I'm sorry. I'll just stay in the, in the, in the lobby with my phone. I was like, I'm not going upstairs. I was like, look, y'all send your million dollar elevators upstairs, then I'll go upstairs. Otherwise, I'm staying my little butt down. You know, it's like that happened in 9-11. They're like, oh, it's okay to go upstairs. They went upstairs and boom, plane hit the building. I just, I'm sorry. I don't like my job that much. I, there's nothing that is so important for me to be rushing upstairs into smoke just for me to have to walk down 40 flights of stairs it's funny because a friend of mine on facebook sent me a post and 15 years ago we had an, uh, the northeast and canada had that huge blackout i had to walk down 47 flights of stairs my legs were jello jello i felt that for like weeks so i'm not r willing to rush up into smoke sit at a desk just to no no I'm sorry, I work at, no, not happening. Anyway, I was just very amazed at how fast people just are just nonchalant about their life. <laughs> sorry, no. Anyway, let's get to the outfit. Today is another 90 degree or so. I am wearing this very cool shirt from Zara, which was last season, a short stretchy skirt from H&M, and my favorite Farrell Robin um, sandals. Uh, still wearing the coach bag with all of that and need to actually change it out and wear some of my summer bags because I, I've got to tell you August is gone next week I'm gonna probably be off the whole week and then it's like back to school so sad so sad how fast the winter you know and the winter went I mean we had a warm a hot summer but June sucked all of June sucked then it got hot and it was hot July and August that, that, that doesn't that shouldn't count so I'm hoping it stays like in the 70s and 80s until like October 31st and then stays. I, I just don't want winter to come. I keep saying winter is coming. Dior sunglasses. I'm not wearing any earrings. Pandora bracelet. Evil eye a bracelet from Macy's. L&M signet. Apple watch. Same old, same old. So yeah. Um just thought I'd share that little story of how people are so very interested in going back to work. I can see if you were, you know, doing something fun or life changing, but sorry, no, <laughs> no. Anyway, ladies and gents, I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. 
Hey YouTube, it is August, what is this, Thursday, August the 16th. I am actually heading home, but I am a greasy mess, oily mess, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I just forgot, last year I used this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the darkest shade they have. Um, and it does the trick. It takes away the shine. So, just putting that on so I can look somewhat presentable. And then I gotta go to Walmart and then pick up uh, something. Actually, I gotta buy something at Walmart and pick something up that I ordered online. So, I will be heading there and then heading home. And then I am done with work. Well, I work from home tomorrow. But pretty much done with work all next week again. <laughs> um, and then, what? What am I doing? What am I trying to say? Yeah, so all next week. But uh, to the outfit today, uh, coach bag, I'm gonna change out of her. It's my last day wearing her. Love her still, love her. I enjoy this bag immensely. Uh, let's see if I can drive while I do this so I can bypass the traffic. Anyway, um, yeah, so today I am wearing this dress. I got it from Lord and Taylor. I can't remember the, um, the designer, and I don't even know if the tag is still in it. I think it's, uh, I'm gonna, what's, what's that noise? Okay, I'm driving with a brake on. Um, I'll see if I can put the, I think it's fifth something. I'll see if I can put the link below, I mean the, the uh, designer below, in which case it's old, um, and I don't even think the tag is still in the dress. It's Lauren Taylor dress. I was feeling something long today. It was another 100 degree day. Yay. You guys cannot see me. I think all you can see is my lips. Let's see if that's better. Um, and shoes are my <laughs> Mewchi shoes. <laughs> uh, Mew Mew. Uh, I mean, well, they're, they're just uh, replicas of the Mew Mews that came out a while ago. I love them in the gray. I love, love, love them. And just this cardigan, which, again, like, no brand. I can't even remember. Um, I think I bought it on guilt.com years ago. Uh, yeah, so some oldies that I'm wearing today. Uh, wearing my heart, Pandora, necklace. I mean, uh, bracelet. Um, uh, what is this bracelet from Evil Eye bracelet from Macy's Chanel necklace star necklace layered somewhere there uh, no earrings and just Apple watch and that is about it guys um, yeah nothing really going on uh, Pandora rings nails are still hard but nothing really going on so I will be talking to you guys hopefully when I get back uh, the week of the 27th. Hope you all have a great weekend. Oh, I've got my Chanel shades. I'm wearing my Chanel sunnies today. Yes, although it's kind of hazy, so kind of pointless. And <laughs> it's getting darker earlier. You know, I've been through this for 40 years. You would think one gets used to saying goodbye to the summer in the Northeast. One never does. Winter is coming. Have a great weekend, guys. I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.